I'm Creek Stewart, best-selling survival author and television host. My job takes me to some pretty incredible places all over the world. And when it comes to weird, creepy, crawly, and just plain gross wilderness food options, I've pretty much eaten it all. But my right-hand man, Jake Wild, well, he sticks to a pretty standard Western diet. Really? <laughs> But here's the deal, if he's going to work for me and be a survival guy, he's got to be willing to sink his teeth into anything and everything the wild places have to offer. Welcome to Creek's Survival Kitchen. So this is actually a wild edible that you're familiar with. Oh really? Believe it or not. Alright. I'm going to... When I first reveal this, you think you might think that I'm taking it easy on you today. Okay. But I'm actually not. Acorns. That's right. That's Acorns. Easy. That's easy. You probably recognize these from this month's issue of Survival Skill of the Month Club. Yep. Where I taught how to harvest, process, and eat acorns. Yep. Okay. Now, if you're not familiar with acorns, they have to be leached in water in order to leach out all of the incredibly bitter tannins. Okay, tannins is, are an organic compound that are very bitter and very astringent and quite frankly can make your stomach hurt a little bit, okay? And unleached, they are very difficult to choke down. You know, I was having a conversation recently with an ethnobotanist friend of mine and he told me that some studies indicate that more acorns have been eaten over the course of human history than wheat, rice, and corn combined. Really? Yeah. Wow. So just the thought of that tells you how edible these really are. But every culture that lived with acorns meticulously processed and leached them in water for a very good reason. <laughs> and we're going to really establish that reason today. Happy to be your guinea okay. pig. So here's the deal. We've got to break open the outer kind of shell of these acorns okay. and get out that inner nut meat. Okay, but there's something you need to know about these acorns before we start breaking them open. These acorns are not what I would call the pick of the litter. Okay, what does that mean? Well, it's late season, it's a late season harvest. Right. And quite frankly, these are the acorns that none of the animals wanted. <laughs> so okay. I'm getting the nasty bits, is you're what you're getting, saying. You're getting the worst of the worst. A lot of these are in, are either bad or infested with insects, or maybe a combination of all three. But I can guarantee you one thing. They all are incredibly bitter. I know, but anything could have been under this dome, right? I still don't feel that nervous about it. Well, let's get started. <laughs> so I'm going to crack open the shell of this acorn just by pounding it there. There we go. So this one looks pretty good, actually. You might get lucky on this one. I'm going to have you take that outer sheath off. See, that doesn't look too bad, does it? I mean, it looks like any other nut, like a macadamia, cashew. I mean, it's, it's just got that consistency and look to it. I'm, I'm really not nervous at all. You just keep thinking that. <laughs> oh, here's a good one. Ugh. Now. That looks nasty. Yeah, this is actually feces, probably, oh. of the acorn larvae. Yeah, look at all that. It's an insect been in there chewing and eating around. We'll wipe off all of that. <laughs> Throw them in your batch there. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. All right, so now I'm eating weevil poo. All right. There's another one here. So have you ever eaten just kind of a handful of nuts before? Just like a handful of peanuts well, or yeah, something like I mean, that. <laughs> sriracha uh, almonds. So it's kind of like that, right? Those are my jam. Yeah, except my sriracha almonds don't have poop in them that I'm aware of. Oh, yeah. This is a really good 
It's a really good red oak acorn right here. If you know much about acorns, the red oak ones are the really bitter ones. Oh no. <laughs> so I'm gonna set that one aside. All right. Oh. That's yeah, a... that one's a little bit moldy. So. I won't let you eat the moldy ones. All right, well, I appreciate you looking out. Here's another really nice red oak one. Just for reference, with these red oak acorns, it normally takes me a couple of weeks to leach the bitter tannins out in multiple, sometimes 10 changes of water. So have you ever ingested a large amount of tannins yourself? No, I haven't. I've never really, I've tried, I've nibbled on some of these acorns, but they've always been so bitter. I've never, ever had an interest in trying to choke them down. So you don't think I'll be able to get it down? I think you'll really struggle okay. with getting these down. <laughs> oh, oh, looky here. Remember me talking about that acorn larvae? Oh. <laughs> There's a prime example of him right there. They burrow their way in. They burrow their way in during the summer and then eat the acorn larvae, eat the acorn meat, and then escape in the winter or spring and turn into a moth. But I'll tell you what, man, this in survival is protein. Right. And so we're gonna add this larvae right to your batch. Oh my gosh. Because that's a part of it. All right, you just upped the ante on me a little bit. Now I'm, now I'm a little more nervous. That one's moldy. Yep. I think we've got a really good batch for you to try. Now let me get these together. Hold your hand out. I'm gonna give you some of the choice ones here. Okay, I'm gonna give you some, some of those right there. Where's this larvae at? He, uh, Where is he, he crawling oh, around? I was at? hoping he was gone. There he is right there. Oh yeah, okay, we're gonna get him in there. <laughs> Let's let him, put him right there, there we go. There's one. There we go. All right. So just all at the same time? He's getting away from me. There we go. Listen, man, you know, survival is all about <laughs> being able to eat stuff, okay? So if you're gonna keep your job here, I have to know that you're willing to go all the way with this survival business. All right. All right. So before you go, I gotta ask, what in the world is that right there? That's pukey. Spooky pukey. <laughs> okay. Is that your puke bucket? <laughs> yes. Yes, okay. it is. All, All right. right. Bottoms up whenever you're ready. Okay. Wait, let me make sure that larvae's still in there. Yep. Okay, he's in there. All right. Chew it up real good. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> that, mm. Chew it up real good. Let it let it marinate. That's bitter. <laughs> that is so bitter. Oh my goodness. What's it taste like? I've actually never <laughs> had that many ac <laughs> that many acorns in my mouth before. Unleashed. <laughs> oh man. It's a lot tougher than I thought it'd be. Does it taste like nuts? It tastes like nuts, yeah. No, it doesn't. It tastes like, I've never had anything like it. It's so bitter. It's like, it immediately dries out your mouth. Immediately. <laughs> I'm gonna swallow it, man. The good thing, I, I, did, I had no idea where the larvae was. No idea. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. Sounds like you're a little parched. <laughs> These are real tears.
no, man. Okay. I'm no. okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. You don't have a nut allergy, do you? No. Okay, that's good. Well, I've never eaten an acorn before. It looks like you're sweating a little bit, man. <laughs> man, I can't get this out of my mouth without water. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I did not puke it up. I did not puke it no, up. No, you haven't. I'm proud of you, man. But it's like cement, like... Oh. I mean, gotta rinse it. Wow. Rinse it out. Rinse it out. Rinse it out. Oh, man. I'm proud of you, man. You really went the extra mile today. Oh. Tell me what it tastes like. Tell me, is there some, is there some merit to leaching acorns? Oh, absolutely. Could, could you eat that as a meal I if would... they're not leached? No, I mean... <clears throat> I mean, we said that was a handful, but really that wasn't even a true handful. I mean, that was just like four or five. It immediately dried out my mouth. It's the most bitter thing I've ever tasted. I'm not even joking. Absolutely the most bitter thing I've ever tasted. And uh, it, my body didn't want to accept it. <laughs> like, that's right. the thing. like my throat was like, no. <laughs> so that's, um, yeah, man. Yeah, you got to leech those bad boys for sure. Well, here's the crazy thing. Entire cultures all over the world subsisted on acorns like this and developed methods for leaching out these bitter tannins. So Jake Wilde has proved today not only to be a go down with the ship employee, but that leaching acorns is in fact necessary in order to eat this survival food. Great job, Jake. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, man. I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need a 10 minute break. <laughs>